St John's Wood is a station on the Jubilee Line. It's a busy station with a very frequent service. But turn right out of the main entrance and walk a short distance up Finchley Road and you'll come to a station that sees no service at all. This is the abandoned station at Marlborough Road on the Metropolitan Line. The station is named after a nearby street which is actually now called Marlborough Place. It was also sometimes abbreviated to Marlborough Road. It was built in 1868 by the Metropolitan and St John's Wood Railway, one of the shortest and shortest-lived underground lines. The Metropolitan and St John's Wood was one of those companies that in theory was independent, but in practice was in the pocket of another company. In this case, the Metropolitan Railway. The Metropolitan and St John's Wood Railway was formed to enable the Metropolitan to run trains into the northern suburbs. When it first opened in 1868, it ran from Baker Street to Swiss Cottage, with two intermediate stations at St John's Wood and Marlborough Road. Apart from Baker Street, every single one of those stations is now disused. The original aim of the line was to meet the North London Railway at their Finchley Road station, which is now Finchley Road and Frognall on the overground, and should not be confused with the Metropolitan Station called Finchley Road. At the planning stages, they also decided to build a branch to Hampstead, and in fact this was authorised. Unfortunately, there was no money to be had, and so the line ended at Swiss Cottage. Before opening, the name Queen's Road was seriously considered. Marlborough Road was, in many ways, a fairly unremarkable station. It was just a couple of stops out of Baker Street, a relatively small station with two platforms and an overall roof, serving a largely residential area. There was a crossing loop to enable trains to switch tracks if needed. Trains ran every 20 minutes. The station was never particularly heavily used, so its demise was particularly ironic. As you're no doubt aware, if you're familiar with the Tube, the Metropolitan Line goes far beyond Swiss Cottage. Today it serves Amersham, Uxbridge and Chesham, and many places en route. In fact, by the 1930s it went even further afield all the way to Verney Junction. Now no doubt a mathematician could explain how this all works better, but what all those extensions meant was that a whole lot of trains were being routed onto a single pair of tracks into London. The line just couldn't handle it all. The Metropolitan Railway wanted to quadruple their tracks to enable them to run express trains and bypass their quieter stations, like Marlborough Road in fact. They never managed this, but the reason I specifically say by the 1930s is because in 1933 the Metropolitan ceased to exist. The whole underground network was taken over by the London Passenger Transport Board, or London Transport for short, that year. What this meant was that decisions about the underground could be taken holistically, as it were, rather than mess around with a whole lot of different companies. Rather than quadruple the Metropolitan Line, London Transport chose to build a branch off the Bakerloo Line from Baker Street to Finchley Road, and then to take the Metropolitan Branch Line to Stanmore over. This would mean that the Bakerloo Line could deal with the short-distance commuters while the Metropolitan would become an express line over that stretch. And that in turn meant that the intermediate Metropolitan stations would close. It was decided that Marlborough Road didn't justify a direct replacement station, so both it and the neighbouring St John's Wood Road, now named Lords, were replaced with the aforementioned St John's Wood. St John's Wood is of course now on the Jubilee Line and not the Bakerloo Line, but that's another story for some future video about St John's Wood. On the 20th of November 1939, Marlborough Road officially closed both because it was underused and overused. Its story is a short and not very exciting one, but it doesn't quite end there. Marlborough Road has done a lot better than some abandoned stations in that the building is very much still there. No trace remains of Lords, for example. As it's a conveniently located and rather nice looking building on a main road, it saw plenty of use after the station closed, mostly as various kinds of restaurant. But the underground couldn't quite let it go. It has an emergency access point to the track, which is common for abandoned stations. The building itself found a new purpose as recently as 2009. That was the year before the S8 stock was introduced into service on the Metropolitan Line. 
The S8 stock trains drew more current than the A stock which they replaced, and that meant that the power supply had to be upgraded. How convenient then that there was a building right next to the line, ideal to house a substation. So Marlborough Road is long gone. In fact, it spent more time as a closed station than as an operating one. But it still serves the Metropolitan, which just goes to show that sometimes it's useful to have an abandoned station about the place. Well, I hope you enjoyed this upcycled tale from the tube. If you did, then please do click like and consider subscribing for more. I'm planning to cover Lords and St. John's Wood in future videos, so keep an eye out for that. You may want to click the bell icon so that you'll know when they show up. I'd like to thank my donors on Kofi and Patreon. You are the electrical equipment to my disused building. And I'll see you all again very soon for another tale from the tube.